was the night before Christmas. I was closing down for business in my little prison shop. When the bell on the door jingled once more, and then time almost came to a stop, but somehow I knew, and maybe so did you, that everything would change from now on. Yes, from this Christmas on, this Christmas on, from this Christmas on, it's gonna be you and me decorating the tree. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Brianna. I am a working mom of four and we make videos on this channel about lifestyle, home decor, cooking, cleaning, all from a perspective of a busy nurse mom. And if that is something that you are interested in, I would absolutely love to see you stick around. Please hit that subscribe button down below so that you can be a part of this community of other nurse moms or working moms in general who lift each other up with positivity, who are here to support one another and help each other find that balance in our lives that we all crave. Today, I am so excited because I finally got to go to Target. It has been so long since I've been to Target with everything being shut down. And I'll be honest, I live in like a rural area. So the closest Target to me is literally like an hour and a half away. Yes, you heard me right, an hour and a half away. So I really have to plan ahead of time to be able to go there. So I finally got to go to Target and do a little bit of Christmas shopping because my Christmas clean and decorate with me video is coming up soon and I needed to get a few things and I love Target so much. They have some of the cutest home decor for every season. So I wanted to bring you guys along with me and show you some of the things that I found and I did a little recording while I was in there so you could see some of the things that they had that I might not have necessarily picked up for myself but that you might like. So here is what I found. In the dollar spot first, I found these cute little trees and look at the base on these trees. I love this natural wood color on the base of them. And these were $5. I did pick up two of these trees because I thought that they would look cute in my entryway. And also to go along with them, they had these sweet little tree collars. Aren't they adorable? Uh, they had these also in like a galvanized silver metal, I believe, but I chose the white because I'm kind of trying to lighten things up with the rest of my decor being like a buffalo check and stuff from last year. I wanted to incorporate a few lighter pieces this year. So I just thought that these would look so cute in these little tree collars. Even though I like the natural base and I might leave one of them out and then put a tree collar around the other, I don't know yet. But I loved both of these pieces, so I picked them up. 
Also, in the Target Dollar spot, they had some bottle brush trees. Like, I don't have a million of these already, but I mean, can you really have enough bottle brush trees? This one is cute. It's like a white sparkly tree, and it also has the natural wooden base. And this little guy was $3, so I thought that I would add him in with the little Christmas tree bunch that I'm planning on doing in the entryway. Also, to add maybe to like the kitchen or something, I found these adorable little trees. They're so cute. And I loved the texture on them. It's like a yarn almost, like that you would make a pretty little fluffy blanket out of. And then they have little gold bases on them. And these guys were a dollar a piece in the Target dollar spot. And I thought they would be really cute, maybe scattered around the coffee pot area or in the little corner that I always decorate in the kitchen. I'm not sure where I'm gonna incorporate these yet, but I know it's gonna be somewhere in the kitchen. And I just absolutely loved the texture of these little fluffy trees. Next, um, in the dollar spot, I found these sweet little bags and these were also a dollar a piece. I got a couple of them in this little plaid and then I got one of them in this little snowflake pattern. And I thought what I would do with these is use my Cricut machine to print out names of like my nephews and my niece and iron on to these little bags to put treats in. I thought that they would make just cute little somethings, you know, to go with Christmas gifts that I give out to my nephews and my niece. Then, also in the dollar spot, I found these strings of lights, and they are battery-powered lights. Let me turn these on for you so that you can see how they glow. They have like a warm light color to them, but what I thought was really interesting about these is they have little trees and snow in them. Can you see how cute that is? Isn't that sweet? I just thought that they were completely adorable. So I picked up a couple of strands of these and I thought that they would look cute strung above a little Christmas sign that I got to hang in the entryway that's going to go above all of the little Christmas trees and it says Christmas tree farm on it. So I thought keeping with the Christmas tree theme that these would be perfect and they're battery powered. So I don't have to worry about finding a place to plug them in. They also have easy to hang loops on both ends so that you can just use you know a little push pin in the wall that is clear so i think i could probably hide this battery pack with some sort of little greenery that i could put over each side of the pins maybe um a couple of bunches of mistletoe will look cute on each end i think that would be cute um i think that's actually all that i got from the dollar spot believe it or not i usually go pretty wild in the dollar spot um, oh no, there is one more thing that I found in the dollar spot. This cookie jar that says cookies for Santa. I thought that that would be so adorable in the kitchen. I really liked the light color, you know, keeping with my lighter theme for this year. So I picked this up. They had this one and then they had like a little house shaped one that said uh, cookies for Santa on it also. I don't think I've ever owned a cookie jar now that I think about it. So yay, my very first cookie jar. <laughs> okay, so really now that is all that I got at the Target dollar spot. I did go to um, the Hearth and Hand aisle, which I absolutely love that brand. Everything um, was totally adorable. And there were many pieces that I actually wanted to get, but mama's gotta stay on a budget. So little bits at a time to add to the collection. Don't feel like you have to get everything. Every year you can build upon your collection and just kind of take inventory and get rid of things that you don't need anymore and add new pieces to it as your styles change. But in the hearth and hand section, I found these sweet little wreaths. Aren't these so cute? I thought that these would be adorable on my kitchen cabinets. I have um, above my stove, like two kitchen cabinets on, like one on each side and then like a short one in the middle. And I thought that these would look so cute hanging on the two kitchen cabinets that are on either side of my stove just to give a little pop of Christmas 
over there. I thought about maybe getting um, like a piece of ribbon, maybe a small, um, what do you call it? It's not buffalo check, but like gingham check, black and white gingham check to put on this little circle and then maybe like drape it over the kitchen cabinet door and tape it on the back side to hold those on there. I thought that that would look cute and it would still be thin enough for the cabinet door to close appropriately so that it wasn't like sticking out or anything. Um, another wreath that I found that I wanted to hang on my pantry door this year, and this was from the Wonder Shop section, was this. I am really into this metal wreath right now. Um, I've been seeing a lot of these and I think they are adorable. And what I really loved about this wreath is that it has the word joy in the middle of it, which is my daughter's middle name. So you'll probably see a lot of Christmas decorations around here this year with the name joy on it, like my pillow in the background there that I found at Marshall's yesterday. Totally cute. Side note. Um, another thing that I really liked about this wreath is that it has little tiny lights on it. Isn't that adorable? I really like just the little sparkle that those fairy lights give to things and I will probably end up incorporating the little fairy lights um, on other things this year too. In fact, I think on these little white trees that I got, some little fairy lights that are battery powered would look adorable and I think I actually already have a couple of strands of those and they have a white string on them too so that would be absolutely perfect to put around these little trees. This big wreath, let me see how much it was, if it even says on here still, $20. This big wreath was $20. So, I mean, that's not really bad. And I don't remember actually how much the little hearth and hand ones were, but I don't think they were that much. I already removed the uh, price tag off of them because I used them for a picture in my pumpkin roll recipe video, which I will have linked down below if you want to check that out cook with me in the kitchen, one of my favorite Christmas desserts. Um, let's see, also hearth in hand, I am a sucker for throw blankets. I don't know why I have a throw blanket addiction lately, but I love throw blankets, um, all different textures, and I've been seeing a lot of these little fringy things that I liked lately. So I picked up this little throw blanket from the hearth in hand line, and I thought it would be so adorable draped over the back of the couch. It is very thin material, which I like because um, I don't like anything too heavy on me, but I like something on my lap, like while I'm watching TV or if I'm sitting on the couch in the morning, just going through my messages and seeing what's going on on social media. I just like a little something on my lap. I don't know why, maybe it's like a security thing. I don't know, but I love throw blankets and I really like how soft this one is. And I loved the pattern, and it has like a little bit, I don't know if you can see very well, of blue stitching there at the top. And I thought that was really cute too. And again, I absolutely loved the fringes on it. So I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this yet, probably somewhere on the couch where it's easily accessible when I'm sitting there in the mornings drinking my coffee. The last thing that I picked up at Target was these little stocking hooks. They are called a mantle clip. It says that they are kid and pet friendly. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to mean. I mean, are there hooks that are not kid friendly and pet friendly? Like why would kids and pets even have hooks? I'm not sure. Anyway, it says kid and pet friendly on this hook. So this, these were actually kind of expensive. They were like $20 for a pack of four of these little hooks and I got a darker color in them. Um, I know it's probably hard for you to see while they're in the package, like how you put them on, but there's a little uh, picture here on the back that tells kind of what they look like. And then here on the side, you can see like how you would use these. And I have some built-in shelving over here in the living room and I don't have a fireplace. So this is the first house that I've lived in that I don't have a fireplace. So I was thinking that maybe since I can't really put a lot of things on the bottom shelves because of the baby wanting to um, rip apart everything that I decorate that is down low, that I might try to use the shelves over there to hang the stockings, like maybe hang them a couple shelves up or do, um, you know, like three on the on one shelf and then like three underneath it so they're not like all in a row, but just kind of use them like staggered. 
So I thought that these clips would be perfect for that because I can just slide them on the ends of the shelves and then hang our stockings over there on the built-in shelf area since we do not have a fireplace. And I did have that built-in area um, like underneath my TV that would probably be a great place to hang stockings, but then again, the baby will come and just like rip everything down. So there's no point in even trying to decorate that area and I want to so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really having to hold myself back because I know that anything that I put over there, she's just going to wreck it <laughs> or eat it. One of the two. I don't know. So that is it for the Target haul with Christmas decorations. I hope that you guys were able to find some inspiration for things that you might like to use to decorate in your home this year. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, your support on this channel means so much to myself and my family. If you got value out of this video, hit the like button below and let me know in the comments if there was any of these decorations that you liked or anything that you see in the clips from me shopping at Target that you might pick up that I have not. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. But somehow I knew and maybe